I hope you some bitches know how to play the acoustic guitar, because if you do, you need to learn how to play this track. Like, uh, it is now mandatory. Oh, I thought you were setting up for a kick-ass guitar solo. Well, if I knew how to play the guitar... No, seriously. I like, would. I hope you guys know how to play the acoustic guitar in this bitches. Hit me, Paul! <laughs> <laughs> that's the electric guitar. <laughs> well, I don't know how to play the guitar, so that's why I hope you guys knew how to, because... Chapter 6 has arguably the best track in the entire game. Love this piece. I like this piece too, not my favorite track in the game. What's your favorite track in the game then? I actually like Chapter 2's song. Chapter 2? What, Magnet, Magnus' theme? No, not not just Magnus' theme, just the stage in general. Yeah. Or is huh. it called Magnus' theme in the game? Well, Magnus' theme is just Magnus' theme. You hear it more yeah. than once, so... Does it play throughout the entirety of Chapter 2, or is that... Uh, no, it plays during the second half when Magnus is actually, you know, with uh, you. Well, I just yeah. like Chapter 2 soundtrack as a whole, so... Wow. Uh, this and Chapter 14 are my two favorite uh, pieces of Yeah, same here. <laughs> What's uh, 14? Chapter 14 lightning is battle. Lightning Battle, which you are not on yet because you are lame. I think this is probably, uh, when it comes to, like, uh, you know, the sort of Mickey Mouse syncing the music to what's going on on screen, I think Chapter 6 actually does the best job with that. Uh, yeah. Because the, the theme sort of picks up and goes down depending on what's going on screen in a nice way, so I really like that. Also, I think that the dialogue for Chapter 6 is some of the funniest in the game. Because Dark Pit really just doesn't take no guff from nobody. I gotta say, it's weird hearing uh, Cree Summer. That's who voice. That's who's voicing Medusa right now. Yeah. I'm so used to her in her like Susie persona from Rugrats or. Yeah. Uh, who else was she? Oh, she was also Penny from Inspector Gadget. Yeah. Wasn't she someone in Teen Titans, or am I thinking of someone else? She was Starfire, I think. She was? Free Summer? Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't remember. Teen no, it, maybe it wasn't. Oh, let I me can't. check. I'm gonna put her on her page right now. She, I do, yeah, she, Medusa is one of the best uh, voices in the game, too. Well, everybody's voice is pretty Well, I just like Kree Summer in general. I think she has a really good voice. Yeah. Uh, they actually had a different uh, set of voice actors for the first few trailers for this game. But at yeah. some point, they swapped uh, recording teams and uh, got the d a different uh, group to do this. Yeah, because the first voice for uh, Medusa we heard was Veronica Taylor, the original voice of Ash. Uh, was, didn't they get the guy who was Pit in uh, Smash to do the first couple of the trailers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, oh, really? yeah. Honestly, this voice is better than that one. Yeah. <laughs> the fight is on. The fight is on. Yeah. -cha -cha -cha. <laughs> so our logic for why we have to keep fighting this guy, even though he's not with Medusa, is he's automatically evil. Well, he's trying to he's trying to fuck with us. Basically, is what's going on. He yeah. hates Fight Medusa, but he himself alone. he hates Med It's kind of uh, he hates Medusa, but he also hates Pit too. So he pro he might just get in the way. So you know he's right there. We might as well beat him up first. Uh, honestly, uh, Dark Pit doesn't really do too much for the overarching plot in general. Like he pops up. Here and there, but he's more of a recurring mini boss than a real sort of this, presence. This game's lot. loose cannon. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, I don't see anything for Teen Titans for Chris Summer. Oh. Okay, I'm probably thinking of someone else then. My bad. I think someone who in this game was in Teen Titans, but I can't remember who. Yeah, uh, see, Dark Pit doesn't take his shit from nobody. He's awesome. Is there any reason for that, though? I mean... Well, he's a he's a reflection of Pit, but he's also... Sort well, he's of a mirror of Pit. Pit does basically all goody two-shoes and will do whatever Palutena says. Dark Pit is basically angsty and won't listen to anyone. Well, as we're getting into, like, as Medusa was getting into earlier, is that anybody that's born from the Mirror of Truth is automatically allied with the Underworld. But Dark Pit but is the exception. Is there yeah, a well, reason for that? Well, he, he, they, they guess that because Pit broke the mirror while Dark Pit was being created, it yeah. didn't finish. He didn't really finish all of the way, so he's he, he's uh, just he's he's allied he's allied with no one basically. How, so while um, Pit, how, how fortunate that 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 the mirror cracked after he finished like growing his legs out or something, <laughs> instead of you know just coming out as an inside out abomination. <laughs> oh, we have to keep that E10 rating. Uh, 
can't get it too dark and gritty. Yeah, um, here, have some side poop. <laughs> side poop? Where? Yeah, Medu I love side Medu poop. Medusa's rocking the side poop. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> I can't see no side poop. You lied to me, <laughs> oh, John. Oh, well, I see. It's chasms and clouds. What is that? Oh. They look like ruins of some sort. Uh, yeah, uh, Chapter 6 also is one of the uh, very few levels that is, isn't, like, entirely linear. Like, this is one of the only real open-ended uh, areas in the game. Well, the, the second half in particular, as, as I was mentioning earlier, is can be a pain if you're trying to get this level Zodiac weapon. Because you ha uh, what hap what's going to happen now is that Dark Pit's going to respawn in three different areas. The, the areas that he spawns in are randomized. Uh, and you have to have Dark Pit appear in one of those branching pathways in order for the pathway for the Zodiac weapon to appear. So you you might have to restart this level over and over again in order to yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know that, that 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 again that's the only problem I have with this level is when you're going after the Zodiac weapon. Yeah, because I don't think I've ever gotten uh, the Zodiac for this one. What? And this is where we get introduced to his loving nickname Patu. <laughs> I love Patu. I love that nickname so much. I love I love his reaction to it uh, more than that and uh, more than anything because he's like, what? What did you call me? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's your nickname? I um I don't know. It is it, it, that's just the sort of logic that went into naming a uh, Pokemon. It's like okay, we've got Mew and we've got this clone of Mew. What do you want to call it? Mew two? Genius. <laughs> <laughs> So okay, so which re which rendition of Pit's theme is the best? Uh, Dark Pit's theme is the best. Uh, flight, uh, the ground, or boss battle? Yeah, I like the flight the best. I g I actually like the the ground theme, the more mellow one. Although that's just, uh, that's just me. What I what I like best more is somewhat fits my it's what fits my mood at the time. Honestly. There may be a pass by the fountain that leads somewhere underground. Now, what's a little bit no annoying is, is that if you, like, if you get lost and you don't know where uh, he's hiding. Because if you go down the wrong path, you could be, like, wandering around this level forever. Well, Palutena does let you know. Yeah, If you've been wandering around for a little bit. Yeah. Although, at that point, you sort of feel bad about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not like they're... Oh, wait, never mind. The arrow goes away. So you actually do need to look and stuff. Yes, yeah, like that one time you pheromoned the entire room to get the Hudra head to attack me. <laughs> well, that was just a little bit of fun. You're not going to hold that against me, are you? Yes. Oh. Oh, Cherubot. I love Cherubot. Only because of the name. <laughs> How about the rapid fire attack and melee weapon that kicks ass that I. Oh, I can't even use them anymore because I kill all the enemies on my own. Never mind. Damn. I think there's one particular section later down the road where you have a Cherubot and you're facing against a Clever Skull. The, chalk, the shockwave attack in particular is really nice. Oh, wait, now I see Side Boob. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wrong uh, anime artwork. <sighs> no side boob. <laughs> oh. I would like to reiterate that mythologically Medusa is supposed to be ass ugly. Um. Well. I would like to reiterate. Uh, sh shut up, Louis. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, you're thinking too hard to. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, damn it. Uh, I accidentally said the playback on my VLC player times two. Oh. Uh, what time are we at? Oh. Uh, I thought we went to hard videos <laughs> to stop it from doing this. So that nine, one's a VLC 10, issue. 9 11, 9 12, 9 13. Oh, Yay, I'm synced up. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we did it this way. Are it's we, all for the greater good. Was that a giant possessed tissue box? Kinda? It slapped me with a tissue. <laughs> if it grabs you, it hurts. No, its hand was the tissue, Lewis. <laughs> that tissue slapped me. Why? Because uh, it's evil. <laughs> you son of a bitch, stop being sick. You know what these rail sections remind me of? The fucking roller coaster from Super Mario Sunshine. Only you can actually aim. <laughs> yeah, it's actually miss. All it needs is the Mecha Bowser in the center. 
Okay, so for some reason this boss fight's even more boss fighty than the other boss fights. Because we have a loading screen. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have a boss fight without a loading screen. Oh look, he's using the weapon from Smash Brothers. Sort I think of. that well he does. It's, it's a silver bow, but I know. But. Well, he 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 changes what weapon he has depending on uh, what area you. Area fight he's in. in. Yeah. So I I think they picked the bow for this because yeah, Smash Brothers. Also, it sort of pits the like um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Default weapon. Uh, trademark weapon, I think is yeah. Uh, this boss fight is pretty easy though. Because, yeah. Well, Be careful, though, because that they, uh, that, that screen nuke attack... Well, it's not screen nuke. It, it, it envelops an entire platform. Uh, when you're playing in an intensity, like, five or higher, that, that son of a bitch really hurts. When you're fighting doppelganger bosses, it can be one of three things. It can either be an ordinary fight and therefore boring, hilariously easy and therefore boring, or incredibly hard and therefore frustrating as hell. I well, no, that's one you. of the more fun fights in the game. It's just that since I've got an overpowered weapon, it goes down pretty f fast. You could there. play on higher difficulties. <laughs> yeah, I could, but then I'd die, and that would be bad, so... And then no. I'd have to edit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't, don't want to exactly. do that. 